Hi friends, myself Mrs. Harshali Vaibhav Matre, working as Senior Scientific Officer and RSO at Prenantec Laboratories Private Limited, Mumbai. Looking at certain conditions, certain situations, we have observed that there is lot of confusion among the people about the storage of the TLD badges. Basically, what is TLD badge, where to store them, what is the control card, how to use it and many more queries we have observed. So we thought of making a video about it and putting it on our website towards the awareness of the storage of the TLD badge to avoid the confusion and the mishandling of the TLD badge. Hopefully, it will be beneficial for you all. What is PMS? PMS is a personal monitoring service. To whom it is provided? It is provided for the radiation workers or the persons working in the radiation field. Why it is provided? To note down the amount of the radiation absorbed in the body while working in the radiation field. How it is provided? In India, it is provided with the help of TLD badge. What is TLD? TLD is the thermoluminescence dosimeter. Thermo means thermal luminescence means light. So it is the thermally stimulated emission of the light. But what it is basically? It is basically a dosimeter. That means it just measures the dose. So here it is clearly understood that it will not be protecting us from the radiation. It will just measure the radiation dose absorbed in the body while working in the radiation field. How the TLD badge assembly looks like? Many people, they are more curious about what is there inside the black color pouch. Since we send the TLD cards inserted into the black color pouch. Out of curiosity, they just cut and open the pouch and see what is there inside. So now onwards, no need of doing that. I will be showing you the whole assembly. This is the bare TLD card which is there inside the black color pouch. Okay, It has three discs and these three discs play an important role in the dose evaluation. So none of this disc has to be damaged. Okay, Then what we do, we just insert these cards into the black color pouch and it looks like this. Okay, on that we just stick and wrapper. Wrapper, the, it is basically a sticker which is having the information about the person, person number and everything. Okay, the final TLD card, it just looks like this. Okay, and in this look, it will be sent to you. Now, I will just brief you about the information which is there on the TLD card. The first six digit number is the institution number. The next, there is a letter C or W. C means the chest badge and W means the wrist badge. The next four digit numbers is the person number. Below that, person name is there and below that, a service period is mentioned over there. For quarterly service period, the October to December 2022, that means for three months, this card has to be used. For monthly, we will be mentioning a single month name. Likewise, here it is mentioned December 2022. Okay? For this card, it should be used from 1st of October to 31st of December 2022. After that, for use of the TLD card from 1st of January, we will be sending you the next set of cards before expiry of this service period. If you can see, there is a unique person number allotted to this person name. That means, the person number is the unique number and it is not at all transferable. Okay, that means the one person's TLD card should not be used by any other person under any circumstances. Now, let me introduce you with the TLD cassette or the holder. This is a TLD cassette in which the TLD card has to be inserted before every use. Under no circumstances, the TLD card is used without this cassette. Okay, now I'll just go through you with, the, uh, with how to load and unload the TLD cards into the cassette. So, this is a chest cassette and this is a wrist cassette in which we'll have to insert chest batch and wrist batch respectively. Before inserting the card into the cassette, we'll have to keep the cassette like this only uh, in upward down direction. That means uh, the red color uh, filter, it should be always at the top of the cassette and then only we'll have to insert the card into the cassette. Okay. If you can see the back side of the TLD cassette, there is a down arrow mentioned. You will just have to slide this back cover in the direction of that arrow. Then the cassette will get opened. Okay, then we'll have to just insert the TLD card into the cassette so as the information written on the wrapper is visible from this plastic filter. 
I will just show you how to insert the TLD card into the cassette because we have many queries that the TLD card does not fit into the cassette because of the sealing part. So, kindly observe it very carefully what I am doing here while inserting the TLD card into the cassette. I will just do this way so that the TLD card fits very well into the cassette and then just move the back cover in the upward direction. So, these cassettes along with the card is ready to use. In the same way, we will have to insert the wrist card into the wrist cassette. This is the wrist cassette and how it is look. It just has a stripe to tie it on the wrist level which was not present there in the chest cassette. Okay. Now, in the same way, we will have to unload the TLD card from the TLD cassette while returning back to us after expiry of the service period. What we have to do? We just have to move the back cover in the direction of the down arrow, then it will get opened. We will just have to remove the inside card and we will have to place the new card which we will be sending you before the expiry of the uh, previous service period. how the TLD badge has to be worn. Let us begin with the chest badge. This is the chest cassette along with the chest card inserted into this. Since it is a chest card, it always has to be worn on the chest level because it will take care of the whole body dose that is from head to toe. Likewise, the wrist badge also, since it is a wrist badge, it has to tie on the wrist itself, okay? as if we are tying the watch on the wrist. Likewise, now the question is why wrist badge is separately provided to us. See, while working in the radiation field, our hands are moving away from our body. So, hands are treated as the extremities. So, wrist badge is used to measure the extremities loose. So, now this is a wrist badge. Now, who would have to use this badge? The persons who are working in the radiotherapy department, whose hands are exposing to the radiation, they can use the wrist badges. Then the departments such as nuclear medicine, in which the persons are dealing with the liquid sources, they will have to use the wrist badges. Also, the departments such as cath lab and also the persons dealing with the fluoroscopy, they must have to use the wrist badge along with the chest badge. And for industry, the persons related to the NDT testing, NDT means non-destructive testing, they will have to use the wrist badges along with the chest badge. Under no circumstances, any of the cards like chest badge and the wrist badge is to be used anywhere else on the body like on the pants strip or into the pocket to explore any of the fashion statement. It is because putting a TLD card into the pocket may cause the shielding of the any of the disc and this may result into the improper reading and hence incorrect dose. Okay. Then further, uh, whenever you are using the protective measures such as lead apron or lead gloves, the TLD card has to be worn below that protective measures. That means first you will be wearing the TLD card and then only you will wear the protective measures such as lead apron or lead glue. Why it is because? This is because after wearing the protection measure also, how much amount of the radiation dose is absorbed in our body, we need to check that. Hence, it is always remembered to use the chest card on the chest level, the wrist card on the wrist level and do not put your chest and wrist card anywhere else on the body and also whenever using the protective measures, it has to be worn below the protective measures. We will have some information about control card and storage of the TLD cards. For each and every service period along with the person card, we always send you a control card. It will look like this. A control is written on the card and instead of the person number, four zeros are there. So, this is our control card. Then what is control card? Why it is to be sent? See, control card is to be sent to note down the background radiation level of the area in which your organization is located. Therefore, under no circumstances, the control card should be stored or should be kept on the control panel of any of the radiation generating machine. Okay? It should not expose to the another radiation other than the background radiation level. Therefore, it has to be kept 
under lock and key always control card should be always kept away from radiation field under lock and key it should be always kept away from radiation field so under any circumstances any of the person cannot use the control card you may keep this control card in the reception area inside the cupboard but under lock and key always kindly be noted that control card or the control reading they plays very important role in the person dose evaluation and therefore the control card is to be more taken care of person card whenever they are not in use they have to be kept along with the control card away from radiation area under lock and key this is just to avoid unnecessary and extra radiation exposure to the person card okay it is always advised that whenever person come for the duty he or she they will collect their card from the place of storage they will use it whenever their duty hour gets over before going to home they will just place back their card along with the control card which is away from the radiation area under lock and key okay under no circumstances the tld card and cassette should be carried out of the premises how the tld card should be sent back to us after expiry of the service period also we will have some information about the dose report so let's begin with how the tld card should be sent back to us after the expiry of the service period how do we send tld cards to you we just pack those tld cards in the plastic box and then put that plastic box inside the plastic envelope okay in the same manner we expect from you to send the tld card back to us what will you do you will also pack the tld cards in the same plastic box and put it into the plastic envelope and send it on the address which is mentioned on that plastic envelope which we send to you our address is clearly mentioned on the envelope so we expect you to send the tld cards on the same address this is to avoid any loss of tld cards in the transit it is advisable to use only plastic and the cloth envelope the paper envelopes are not at all advisable now let's have a look at the dose report see this is the quarterly dose report service frequency quarterly is mentioned over here and this uh, uh, dose report is for the service period july to september 22 then the institution number is written institution name is written and the address of the institution is mentioned in the dose report in the first column there are person number mentioned against that person number the person name is mentioned then the worn position whether it is worn on the chest level or the wrist level is mentioned since it is the quarterly dose report all the four quarters names are mentioned in the dose report and the last column the total is mentioned this total is addition of all the doses of all the service period is given for that particular service year the last column is the skin dose and the skin dose is always shown for the current service period below the dose report there are some footnotes indicated in the seventh footnote the investigation level for the over exposure is mentioned which means if the dose observed is greater than this investigation level uh, then it is reported to arb below that uh, the all remark codes are also mentioned like tld unused not returned person deleted then urgent processing so these are the remark code mentioned for monthly also the uh, dose report remains same only instead of having four quarter names there we have 12 months name in the dose report everything else remains same